Determine the equation of a rational function with each set of characteristics and draw the graph. In part A, we have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and x equals 4, a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1, x intercepts at negative 3, 0, and 5, 0, and there are no holes in the graph. We'll begin by looking at the vertical asymptotes. We have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. The vertical asymptotes can be used to find the denominator of the rational function. Since x equals negative 2 and x equals 4 are non-permissible values, the denominator is x plus 2 times x minus 4. Now we'll look at the horizontal asymptote. We have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. The horizontal asymptote tells us, 1, if the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0, then the degree of the numerator is lower than the degree of the denominator. Two. If the horizontal asymptote is not y equals 0 and has the equation y equals a, then a is the ratio of leading coefficients from the numerator and denominator. This also tells us that the numerator and denominator are the same degree. Three, if there is no horizontal asymptote, then the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. Since the horizontal asymptote of our graph is y equals 1, we know that 1, the numerator and denominator are the same degree, and 2, the ratio of leading coefficients is equal to 1, so both the numerator and denominator have the same leading coefficient. Now we'll look at the x-intercepts. The graph is x-intercepts at negative 3, 0, and 5, 0. Only the numerator of a rational expression carries information relating to x-intercepts. This is because the denominator always vanishes in the calculation for x-intercepts. Zeros of negative 3 and 5 give us the factors x plus 3 and x minus 5 in the numerator. Now we'll discuss holes in the graph. Holes are useful because they tell us that there were identical factors in the numerator and denominator. A hole is created when identical factors are cancelled. This graph does not have any holes, so no identical factors were cancelled. Draw the graph. When graphing in your calculator, the entire numerator must be in brackets, and the entire denominator must be in brackets as well. Now we'll move on to part b. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, no x-intercepts, and there's a hole in the graph at negative 1, negative 1. First, we'll look at the vertical asymptotes. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. This means we have x as a factor in the denominator. Now we'll look at the horizontal asymptote. We have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. A horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 tells us that the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. Now we'll look at the x-intercepts. The graph has no x-intercepts. This means that either 1, the numerator is a constant, 
or 2, the numerator had a factor that was cancelled. Now we'll discuss holes in the graph. The graph has a hole at negative 1, negative 1. The x value of the hole, negative 1, is a non-permissible value. Both the numerator and denominator need factors of x plus 1 for this hole to appear. Draw the graph. When graphing in your calculator, the entire numerator must be in brackets, and the entire denominator must be in brackets as well.